And the Autism Society Kern Autism Network is hosting a face mask drive today for families impacted by autism and special needs. 23 ABC's Callan Hobman is showing us just how this is one way the nonprofit is supporting the community during the pandemic. And she's joining us live right now from the center. Good morning, Callan. Yeah, good morning, Tori. I spoke with the nonprofit's treasurer who says she understands what families impacted by autism are going through and she wants to help. COVID-19 has completely altered basically every aspect of our lives and families impacted by autism and special needs are facing many struggles in the midst of all these changes. It definitely has its struggles because most of, you know, especially children and adults as well that are on the spectrum, they have their routines that they're used to and now their routine has been, you know, basically changed completely. Nikki Lewis is the Autism Society Kern Autism Network treasurer. She has a 17 year old son on the spectrum and says she joined the nonprofit to help parents in similar situations. I'm able to help parents that are, you know, just coming into this and they have little ones and go through my experience so they know they're not alone and there is a lot of programs and services out there and we're here to help them. The organization is hosting a face mask distribution drive through event today at 11 a.m. at Canyon Hills Church. Lewis says she hopes the event can give families extra support during a challenging time. Definitely a hard situation to be in. I mean, across the board for everybody, but especially the families with special needs kids. It does, you know, cause people to regress sometimes. It could cause behaviors. You know, it can affect a lot of different things. Lewis says the Autism Society Kern Autism Network is also providing food and basic necessities for families in need with children or adults on the spectrum. All a family needs to do is reach out. And Lewis says the nonprofit is always accepting donations to help those families. It's really restricting us, which is, you know, hard. Um, hard to have different events to bring in donations, being that we are strictly donation based. So, you know, anything that the community is able to do to help us out would be greatly appreciated. She says to call or email the organization if you would like to pick up or donate items. And if you'd like to attend that face mask drive today, Lewis says to RSVP by 10 a.m. We'll have the link for that on our website, turn to 23.com. For now, here in downtown Bakersfield, Callum Hallman, 23 BC, connecting you.